Hey guys, um, I wanted to take you on this adventure that we're about to go on. We're meeting some friends here at what's called Gator Creek Reserve. And it is actually located uh, a few miles north of the city of Lakeland, Florida, which is in Central Florida. It's in uh, northern Polk County. And uh, this is their webpage here. It says, Welcome to Gator Creek Reserve. Explore the edge of the green swamp in one of Polk County's most popular hiking areas. Gator Creek Reserve lets you experience a mosaic of cypress swamps, hardwood forests, and marshes interspersed with slightly elevated areas. So they have uh, 2,700 acres, and they have short walking trails. They also have long walking trails. Let's see what they have here in terms of activities. Okay, they got hiking and jogging and butterfly watching. Okay, that sounds exhilarating. Uh, these are the facilities they have. Looks like they just have like a picnic shelter and restrooms. That's a cute dress. I like that dress on her. Oh, they have parking. That's good. That's good. They have parking. Okay. You'd think that would be a given, but you never know these days. Um, here's the trail map. So it looks like uh, this is Highway 98 coming out of coming out of uh, North Lakeland. And then uh, this is the parking area that we heard so much about. And uh, we'll see what happens. We, you know, this is the this is the the Gator Creek here, but um, our goal is to try to get to the creek and maybe turn around and go back. We'll see how how much of an adventure my my friends are are up for here. Printable map, that's nice. Print that thing out and take it with us. So, uh, okay, so the Cypress Loop Trail, it's, it's over half a mile. It's paved trail. That gives you a chance to see the Cypress Dome up close. So that's really cool that it's all paved. So I guess maybe I don't know if you're if you're wheelchair wheelchair bound or um, you just want to take your razor scooter with you or something like that, then that would be awesome. Uh, da, da, da. So uh, they have a question trail. So if you like horseback riding, looks like you're in luck. Nature, natural communities. Um, so these are some examples of the wildlife that you would see there. American alligator. <coughs> Location, let's see what they have. Okay, so here's the uh, hours of operation, the address. Um, looks like pretty much just any time during daylight. All right, well, let's, uh, let's jump into it. So we're driving out to Gator Creek Reserve and uh, we've already been out here one time, but I wanted to check it out again because I never did make it to the creek. So we're on our way there now and uh, we'll see how that goes. It's just north of Lakeland on Highway 98 North. So about, I don't know, five, six miles north of Lakeland outside the city limits, Lakeland, Florida, which is kind of in between Tampa and Orlando. So hang out guys, hope you enjoy the venture. Here we go. So this is it by way of uh, picnic stuff they've got a pavilion and uh, like a fixed barbecue grill thing but i felt like the website was a little bit misleading because here's the bathrooms it's not really like a bathroom facility it's just like one single porta potty so anyways if you do come out here just be prepared to be grossed out well we would hit the trails but uh we got somebody sleeping he's passed out He's gonna miss all the trail fun. Hey Micah, do you wanna go hiking? Are you having hiking dreams right now? So we gotta wake him up. Or wait till he wakes up. One or the other, but we'll do something. So here's my solution. Just to carry him until he wakes up. Because it's gonna get dark really quickly. And we need to get some uh, get some mileage in here. So we're heading down the trail. And here's what we got so far. A lot of these trees were downed uh, from the hurricane. I don't know if you can see. A lot of trees down, so they just kind of pulled bulldozed them out of the out of the road. Hurricane Irma in 2017. Still lots of trees down. So it looks like we're about to enter nature's home. You may encounter alligators snakes and spiders and lizards and many other wild animals. 
Just kidding. I'm still carrying Micah. We've gone probably half a mile. I still got him. He's sleeping soundly. It's a beautiful thing. Let's press on. What do you think, Noah? You got your lightsaber? This uh, reserve is really nice because it has these paved trails weaving through the woods back here. Um, these woods have suffered a lot of damage from Hurricane Irma that happened in uh, late last year, 2017. There's a lot of trees like this down. A lot of dead, uh, dead fallen trees were knocked over by the hurricane. Hurricane Irma. Well, somebody woke up feeling good, which I would be too if I woke up in the middle of the woods being carried by somebody walking down a trail. <laughs> Say hi. We made some pretty good ground while you were sleeping. Yeah, we're looking for Gator Creek. We'll go find an alligator. I don't know if there's going to be alligators or not, but we're making some progress. Here we go. Yeah, so um, I came out here before and I was so disappointed in myself because, well, because I never did look and find the creek. And uh, I don't know, I just kind of disappointed because this whole thing is called Gator Creek Reserve. And I was thinking maybe there's a creek with like gators in it, or maybe there's some kind of flowing body of water. And I never did find it because I just didn't have a lot of time to explore. So I'm out here on my second trip and looking for the actual creek. You coming? So we'll see what happens. It wasn't too far of a drive from our house, fortunately. I don't know, like when I go to state parks or when we go to places like this, I like to get, I like to experience the fullness of it, you know? Because I always feel like I'm missing something. I like to walk every trail and every foot of that trail, I feel like I really didn't experience experience it completely. I don't know, maybe it's OCD of me. There he is. You coming? Come on. You're gonna get the you're gonna get the Sasquatch for us, aren't you? There's a maybe a black racer snake. Uh, I can't tell if it's a black racer. No, it's a banded water snake. That's what he is. Banded water snake. See how close I can get before he starts taking off. He's a banded water snake. He um he does what they call aposomatic patterns, where he tries to make himself look like a water moccasin, so that people will stay away from him. And he'll even flatten his body out to make him look tough, make himself look like a like a water moccasin. And they're completely non-venomous, but he will actually flatten his head out to make him look make himself look venomous but they just eat frogs and and fish and they like to live around water like just like water moccasins do but he's actually a, a banded water snake Let's see if i can get a little bit Ooh, see look he's uh eli you see how he's flattening his head out like that see how he's flattening his head out he's trying to make himself look like a water moccasin but he's definitely not a water moccasin he's just a Innocent banded water snake. Ooh, he's angry too. See, he will strike you, and he does have teeth, but he's not venomous. Maybe we'll just leave him alone. He looks pretty mad. He feels kind of cornered. Alright, bye bye, banded water snake. See how he's flattening his body out like that? He's making himself look bigger like a moccasin. Oh yeah, he's mad. So this is a young willow. Uh, it's coming up, and these uh, these leaves right here, you can boil these and make a tea. And they actually have a lot of vitamin C in them. 
you young willow leaves. You can eat them just straight like this too. They're kind of bitter. But you make a tea in those things and more vitamin C than an orange. A young willow. Do you know that, Eli? What? You know that you can eat the young willow leaves? You can make a tea out of them. Just like we made loquat leaves. Oh, you're just gonna go for it, huh? How's it taste? Yep. <laughs> Monkey see, monkey do here. Oh, oh, there's poison ivy. Let's get him away from that poison ivy. See the poison ivy right there? I'm gonna chop it up. Poison ivy everywhere out here. So this map seemed to be wildly inaccurate when it came to like the parking area where everything was at. So I was a little bit skeptical of how accurate it would be once we got moving on the trail, but it seems like it's pretty accurate. Um, so we parked right here and we've so far walked and I think we're about right here at the tip of this the tip of this stick. We're about right here. And the creek is right here. But so far, all the land features and everything seem to be pretty accurate. So if my theory holds up, we should have a change in the trail just up ahead. About right here somewhere. And then it should be a little jog over to the creek. So, I don't know, we've gone maybe two miles. Which um, is with having a child in your arms and a, and a nine-year-old in tow is, you know, equivalent of like 40 miles. <laughs> Just kidding. They're fun. Are you enjoying yourself? Which way are we going? You got your lightsaber still? <laughs> that looks like you're doing some business in your pants there. So this road reminded me one time I was in a school for the U.S. Army and uh, we were learning some infantry tactics. And uh, I had a dream the night before. Uh, we were um, sleeping out in the woods that night. And that night I had a dream that I was leading my platoon down a road that looked just like this through the woods. And we were on either side of the road forming columns. And in my dream, I was walking down the middle of the road. And I was in between the two columns. And suddenly sniper fire started popping off from directly in front of us. And I remember in my dream, I yelled, Sniper, Sniper, take cover. And we all split off and we took cover on either side of the road. Well, the next morning we get up and we're running uh, scenarios and missions and stuff. And the cadre or the instructor, he looks at me and he's like, you're leading this mission. And I was like, okay. So he gave me a couple minutes to prepare for the mission, gave me the map, the orders and everything, the objective. And we set out. And before I know it, I turn around and I see we are walking down the road that is in my dream. I'm like, whoa, and it's all occurring to me and all my dream is coming back to me. And while it's occurring to me, I hear pop, pop, pop. And there's, uh, you know, there's like a, an op operation, uh, um, oppositional force, you know, just like a pretend sniper up ahead. He's shooting at us. And I say, sniper, take cover, exactly like in my dream. And I knew exactly what to do because I had dreamt it just the night before. I am not making it up. Crazy story, right? Dreams, something crazy to them. You coming? Anyways. Off topic, but cool story. So we made it to the creek. Well, what we thought was going to be the creek. It's kind of a disappointment to be honest with you. Um, right now we're kind of experiencing like a dry season here in Florida. So we haven't gotten a lot of rain the past few months. Um, so the creek basically is bone dry, with the exception of a couple of puddles. But it's kind of disappointing. Let me show you um, down here. So it's basically this. So if you drove out here, or you're going to drive out here, and you're hoping for like a scenic creek, uh, definitely wait until the wet season. Right now it's super dry. See, that, that marker right there, Noah, is to measure the water level. Yeah, oh, I know. Oh, okay. okay. What are you doing? Are you sliding down? Be careful. So, kind of disappointment, but oh well. You see where it used to flow through here, maybe in the rainy season, usually in the summer, fall, there'd be some, some water in here. It's too bad. Is there anything spooky in these culverts? No. No, nothing spooky? Oh, Any alligators? No, 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 no nothing no, spooky no. down there. No. Well, anyways, so in case you don't know, we homeschool our boys, and um, homeschooling is the best. Uh, I, I'm a school teacher. I teach at a normal school, but um, in the evenings, I like to take the boys out on little field trips and excursions like this. And they love it because uh, boys love nature. Boys love the outdoors. And girls. Girls love the outdoors too. 
every child has a natural curiosity for, for the natural world. And um, I like to feed that and I like to, I like to fulfill that in them because that curiosity is what's gonna drive innovation and ideas. So the more you can get your kids out into the wild and nature, the, more, the, the happier they'll be and the more curious they'll be. And uh, they'll just love it. You'll love your life as well. But homeschooling is the best because you just can't, I mean, you gotta sit in a classroom all day and I teach in a classroom all day. And um, sorry, Micah was climbing into the culvert. Speaking of natural curiosity, he's our fearless one. Um, you know, it just really stifles. I feel I feel like it really stifles their personality and that curiosity to just sit in a classroom and have to read from a book all day. Yeah, it's good for them to know how to read and it's good for them to learn self-control, but ultimately this is what they love. They love getting out and exploring and satisfying that natural curiosity that God put inside them. So take your kids out on an excursion. Even if you don't homeschool, take them out, get them out to the outdoors and have them explore the natural world. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna walk back to the van and see if we can find anything else interesting. Thirsty? Oh. Oh. Thinking about it? Oh. This is really cool. I think I've talked about this in my prior video. But you can see the spiral pattern on the back of this pine cone. It's what they call the golden ratio. And you can look it up. Um, they call it a few different things. Golden ratio, fingerprint of God, or Fibonacci sequence. It's named after the, I think he's Italian mathematician who first identified it and codified it, but you can find it all throughout nature. It's really beautiful. You can find it on pineapples and flower petals, but it's called the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio. Check it out if you get a second. This is such a cool pine tree. It's curvy. And there's the dot. We're almost back to the car. Kids are hungry. I'm thirsty. We're gonna make it, dadgummit. Micah, you lost your shoes somehow. Oh, I'm carrying them. That's right. Let's go. Oh, look, so I spotted somebody in their little home in this little oak tree here. There's a little pigeon up in the nest. Oh, she's getting really still because she doesn't want me to see her. But I see her. Is it alive? Yeah, she's probably sitting on some eggs right now. Is it a baby? No, it's a full-grown mama. She's probably sitting on eggs waiting for him to hatch. Can we catch it? No, we should leave her alone because she's sitting on her eggs. That's cool. Can you eat their eggs? She looks like a pigeon or a dove or something like that. I'm not sure. Oh, she's rocking around in the wind pretty good. So I don't know if you remember my video from before when I was here about two weeks ago. There was this bird sitting on her eggs, and I don't know if you can see it, but the eggs have yeah. since hatched, and there's a little baby. Welcome to the world, baby. No, there's a little baby bird. Remember when those she was sitting on her eggs? They're motionless right now. I'm hoping I don't see them. I see them. Hi, baby. Oh, they are not moving. They're like little statues, aren't they? Freak them out too bad. Oh, 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 oh. oh they flew away. All right. This is a cool sign. This is a uh, fire, a source of renewal. And there's a couple gunshot uh, wounds there in the middle of the sign. But they say that fire uh, is really good for the forest. And um, actually, Florida, before it was inhabited, used to burn like three times over every year. But, uh, I have a friend from high school 
who does that for a living and I want his job really bad because it looks really cool. So the benefits of fire, really good. Replenish the soil, kind of bring down the undergrowth quite a bit. I'm sure there's lots and lots of other benefits but kind of a cool sign showing you the benefits of forest fires. Isn't that right little deer? So we're coming up on a little rest area here under the big live oak. There's some signage. It says explore green swamp. And it goes on to talk about the importance of the green swamp. You ready to go, Eli? Yeah, this is a map of a green swamp. Some... Okay, let me get a big shot of it so if people want they can they can pause it and read this if they want to. It's kind of blurry though. I think the sign's really kind of junkied up. Daddy, Over there. On, no, the other way. Oh look, there's more species of animals, you got. Can you name any of those animals? Let's see. There's deer and squirrel. otter and bobcat, fox squirrel, heron, wild turkey. Those are all things that you can see out here. Oh, there's spider. a. Is that a golden orb weaver? Banana spider? Oh, I had banana There's a tree spider frog. Friend. Yeah. That's cool. Wonderful seeing those things today. There's a little side trail there. Otters. You hate otters? Yeah, I hate them. They're dummies. <laughs> well, they're kind of cute, though. Which way do we come from? Which way do we go? That way. Okay. No, what does that sign say? Equestrian. What's it? What's, what's equestrian mean? What's equestrian mean? What? What does equestrian mean? Do you know? Okay. You can look it up later. It means yeah. It means anything having to do with horses. So that's a horse entry. It's just a big word to make you feel dumb. The boys have something going on over here. This is what boys do. What do you guys got? Tortoise hole. Tortoise hole? I think. Oh man. What, did it get bite? No. You need a pistol and a flashlight to go down there, huh? Oh, you got a flashlight. Uh, let's see. Let's see how far I can stick the phone down in there. Hey, watch out, watch out. Yeah. At you. I don't see anything. Oh well, probably a big fat tortoise in there waiting to bite my hand. So this is interesting. Here is a wild grapevine and here is poison ivy. Grapevine, poison ivy, they're all really close to each other. But there's poison ivy everywhere out here. All entangled up with these uh, grapevines too. I think they're called muscadine grapes. I'm not sure. I hope you had enjoyed uh, going on this little adventure with us. Uh, it's part foraging, part exploring here in the Gator Creek Reserve in northern Polk County, just north of Lakeland. Check it out if you have any free time. It's a nice walk in the woods. Nothing too scary or adventurous, and I still haven't found the Gator Creek, but we're still looking. We're still on the, on the move. But thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> He's got such a determined little look on his face. Uh, you can see it that way. He's finally out though. You gonna say hi? Oh, you got your drink, huh? He's got a sippy cup back there. He looks tired. You're looking tired. Here, let's come get a brochure. Here, wait. These woods are so pretty. You have the mixture of live oak and palmetto, saw palmetto, and uh, here's some beauty berry. 
It doesn't have any berries on it yet because it's not in season. Give it another couple months probably it will. We're in the uh, beginning of April here, but Beauty Berry has these leaves that have a chemical in them and you crush them up. You can rub them on your skin really good and it actually keeps mosquitoes away. And they also have an edible berry that you can use to put in pancakes. You can make jelly with it, all kinds of good stuff. So let's see if he's sleeping yet. You're still awake. I can't see him, so I don't know if he's sleeping or not. Ah, it's pretty out here though. You gotta love it. Let's see if they have any brochures. What? You wanna see if they have any brochures in here? Brochures and sign-in sheets. Go ahead and see if there's any. Oh, well they got sippy cups. That's good. We'll take this on the road with us, right? Oh, that's awkward. You don't know you don't know who sipped off of that last. Oh. Look, somebody shot the sign up. Just because, you know, it's really important. Thanks.